hello friends welcome back to native mobile bits today we are going to start a new video and we are going to learn about canvas api using jetpack compose so let's create a new application let's call it compose canvas basics app our project got created and we can delete all of this default code which we got at the time of project creation right now if we run our application we will just have one empty screen so first of all we should be knowing that why we need to use canvas right so let's say if we want to create some custom UI elements like rectangle or circle or if we want to draw a line we can do that with the help of canvas API and next question is how to do that so we can use canvas API which is provided by default with the compose UI dependency so we can use this canvas API out of the box if we are using compose in our project okay so let's create some composable and inside those composable we will try to draw some custom elements with the help of this canvas API okay so let's say we create one composable rectangle or first of all let's create line composable if we want to draw a line right so we can use some normal spacer with some height and width we can draw a line but with the help of canvas API also straightforward we can draw a custom line we can just use this composable function canvas and we can give here some modifier so let's say we want to take the entire screen as canvas so we are giving fill max size now within this scope we can draw some custom element so as we want to draw a line so we have multiple functions so let's say we are going to use this one first to draw a line this function is going to take multiple parameters but before we provide all the parameters and draw a line we need to know so this top left corner here our canvas will start basically this is canvas point zero zero for both x and y axis the x axis will increase to the right like if you want to increase some value on the x axis so here we have the zeroth value let's say we are trying to draw something on x axis with value 10 so we will draw at some right side okay and this y axis will increase downwards all right so if we want to draw something we need to make sure that we are giving the correct position because our canvas will start at the top left now let's draw a line so we need to provide here some parameters so first parameter is going to be the start offset that means where our line is going to start okay so we are going to give the value with the help of offset and we can give the value of our initial coordinates okay so let's say we are giving 50 and we need to give these values in float and for y also we are giving as 50 okay now we need to give the end value where our line is going to end this also we need to give in the offset so let's say we want to draw a line of 400 f and for height we are giving 50 f I will show you what will happen if you will change these values and for color we are going to give let's say color dot blue we want to draw a line of blue color we can also give here alpha that do you want to make this line little bit transparent or you want to give the actual highlighted color so we are going to make it actual alpha as one and we can give the stroke width like how much thinner or how much thick your line should be so let's say we want to draw a line of four points and another one is cap so do you want to add any rounded effect or anything so with the help of this cap we can provide what kind of stroke cap the line should have okay now let's try to use this line but before that let's add a surface and inside this we will add our composable 
now let's run our application and let's see how our line is looking so we can see that we have one line but it is coming at very top okay as I mentioned that our canvas starts here at top left so if we want to bring it down either we can increase this size of Y so that if we will increase the Y size it will come down let's say we increase to 500 and here also let's see what will happen so we can see that now we have our line and as our canvas is starting here this is 0 0.00, 0. So we are giving Y value as 500. So we can see that our line is not drawing at this top left. It is having some space because of this Y. Let's say we change this Y for a start and end offset. So our line is starting here. That means 500 is here for Y. If you want to end this line somewhere here, so we can increase this, let's say to 850 and now increase the size also to 8 for a stroke and let's run our application so we can see that here this point was x is 50 okay for x we started the offset for the starting point so from left we are having some space 50f then we are having y as 500f so it is having this much space and then it is starting from this 500 F point okay now for end point we was having offset X as 400 so it is having this much space in the right side which is 400 and then it is ending at 850 which is from the top here so this is 850 okay now let's say if we want to take this line here little bit downer and we want to make it a straight line so let's say we have 850 itself to 500 okay let's run the application all right and the more and offset X you will give here the more lengthier line you will see now let's create another function and in that we will see how we can draw a path so line is start from one point and ends at another one so we have two offset start and end where we give the position for x where it should start 50f in this example and where this line should end so in this example our line is starting at 50th point and ending at 800th point okay now let's say we want to draw a path okay so path can take multiple points so let's say we want to start at a point here where my cursor is then we want to move at the top so the here another point and then we want to go down another point and we want to come back or we want to have one line here it's like a triangle so we have three points starting from here then going here coming back here and closing it okay so we can draw that with the help of path so let's say we have a new function in this function we are going to name it as path okay and this path we need to have a canvas again because we are not having the canvas here so either we can take this canvas here in place of surface or we can just add the canvas here itself so I'm going to add it here for now okay modifier dot fill max size and within this we have one function draw path okay this one but we need to create one path variable to provide inside this function so first let's create one variable path we can use this path dot apply we are using this apply scope function to add some point within our path variable okay so first thing we need to move to a certain point okay let's say to the starting point so we need to use this move to and we need to provide X and Y value okay so let's say we are providing that we want to draw somewhere here okay so we can give that for X we want to say 100 F that means this is 50 little bit here okay 
and then for by we want to draw at thousand F okay somewhere here all right now this is our first starting point for our path now we can add line 2 and if our X point is here which is hundred so let's say we want to go here okay so this X is little bit far so we can provide X equal to 250 and Y equal to little bit up let's say 800 okay and then let's add this inside one actual draw path so that you will understand that what these lines are doing and then we'll then we will enhance our path okay so let's add this inside draw path so we need to provide our path variable here this one we need to provide one color so we are going to go ahead with blue color again and alpha we need to provide so we are going to use one for alpha so that it's visible clearly and for a style we are going to use a stroke and for width we are going to say let's say 10 and for cap we are going to use again stroke cap dot round okay let's make it more meaningful draw line and draw path okay so we are going to use draw path now and let's run our application okay so we can see that as we have two points inside our path our path is having two actual point it is starting here at x equal to 100 and y is 1000 then we are drawing one line to x equal to 250 which is 250 from here from this left this point is 250 and this point is 800 in y axis okay so you can understand like this is 1000 so from here to up to here it's 1000 then this is 800 because from top here 800 so let's say we want to go from here till here somewhere so we can just give 200 so we can see that the moment we updated y to 200 it is going till here but x is very close so let's say we want to go from here till here somewhere so let's update it to 450 okay and we can see it's updating let's update it little bit more 650 okay from here till here so I hope you are getting it that this is the starting point so we moved our path to x equal to 100 which is from this left to here 100 and y is 1000 so y is 1000 from here this point to here which is 1000 point then we are drawing a line inside our path and we are giving the coordinate as x equal to 650 that means from left till here it's 650 and y is 200 so that means from top till here okay now we need to go from this to here somewhere okay so we need to go from here till here that means y is fine why we need to use as thousand only because we want to draw a line till here which matches this point so we need to increase the value for x because we want to draw it somewhere here so let's say we are giving x value as 950f and y value will be same as this one because we want to come down equal to this point so we are going to give as y as thousand okay so we can see that one line is drawn but if you want to take it more this side we can increase this size let's say thousand hundred or something we can also increase this point so it looks much better and this one we can increase as let's reduce this little bit yeah now we have these three point moving 
and this is the starting point then drawing a line to this point and then drawing a line to this point now we want to close this so we can just add this function close and one line will be drawn and you can see that our triangle is ready this way we can draw a path now our two custom components are ready we can draw the lines and we can draw the custom path so first of all let's try to add one preview for both of these and we can just take composable we can copy this one preview and inside this we can just call draw line and same way we can create another preview for our composable let's add show background as true for another preview as well okay so we can see that previews are coming but this preview is not coming properly because these values are I think too big so let's reduce this to 550 and this one to 950 yeah now we can see that we have these two previews and our two components are ready one is to draw the line and another one is to draw a custom path so we can draw any kind of path with this strategy and we will see in the next video that how we can play around with some more custom path we are going to draw some popular applications logo with the help of this draw path and some other drawing methods out of our canvas api so that's it for today's video friends i hope you enjoy this video and i know that we are resuming the videos on our channel after a long time but we are going to have more and more content very soon and consistently so please like share and subscribe also do share with your friends and i will see you very soon in another video